All right, I'm visiting a farmer and they're just doing an amazing job. This is all coriander. Um, I think he wants to collect seeds. Uh, he's doing the red cabbage, the Pendle variety, that's the red cabbage. Uh, he's also doing the uh, Chinese cabbage also. Uh, this is what we talk about uh, having a, a plan. <laughs> He's doing chines. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, so farmers uh, establish a production cycle so that uh, your farm is not always under cultivation. If you look to my right, this is, these are the cabbages he has already harvested. He has another block on the end. You see that? I may lift the camera up. All right. And if guys, if you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do. Please do. So these are done. We're harvested today. Then he says in the next two, three days, he'll be transplanting. But he has also this other little block of uh, cabbages, same. He has this. Uh, this could be probably another month or two to go. But he has another line over there and more we have seen over there that will be ready in a week time. So that your farm is not 100% taken over by crops. If you look at the distance, we have a whole block, I don't know how many acres, say two, three acres. Uh, cultivated but not yet planted uh, so he will move to that block so that any time every day every week is harvest time problem is most farmers nowadays have been earning uh, quarterly and you say earning quarterly is they are not able to have uh, a production cycle um, you plant your cabbages say five or ten acres and you harvest them once because cabbages will take you say max four months on the after the fourth month you have no other crop because you harvest everything what you're seeing here and for the four months that's it then you have to tell your clients to give you another four months until you transplant uh, you weed you do everything you do another four months of waiting so max you can harvest in a year is probably three times so farmers or max four times so most farmers are earning four times in a year now god forbid something happens uh, in your second cycle, even in your first cycle, the third month or the fourth month when you're going to market, there's a flooding of your cabbages. There's a glut. What do you do? You find farmers complaining there's no market for their produce. They will tell you, oh, I will need uh, government intervention. Uh, family doesn't pay. But if you worked backwards and decided to have a production cycle such that every week you're sowing a seed, the following week you're transplanting a seed, the other week you're weeding, another week you're harvesting, every week you have something you're doing at the farm, you're establishing what I call a cash flow. Because most farmers don't have cash flow, but they make profits after four months or six months. You cannot build your business on, on making profits or hoping to make profit at the end of the year, the end of a production cycle. I'm of the opinion, why don't we have good cash flow on a weekly, if not daily basis, then we can now increase and say, can we do a bigger farm after that? So that's just my opinion. And uh, that's why I love visiting other people's farms and seeing what they're doing. Um, if you look here on my right, uh, this is the cabbage. This is Chinese cabbage. I think this is the cauliflower. He's doing broccoli, he's doing tomatoes, he's doing all these. Uh, different varieties of crops so don't stick with only one variety mistake number two we make is we specialize on only one crop and let's say you are you are doing cabbages let's use cabbages or tomatoes as an example in this case you're doing tomatoes and under five acres if something happens and the market fluctuates all this El Nino comes these heavy rains to wipe out your tap so this farmer can tell even if the lettuce doesn't go or doesn't fetch a good price, probably the purple cabbage will, or the cauliflower will, or the tomato, or the spinach, the hot dog spinach, or the coriander has like five, six different vegetables. That's the only way African farmers, Kenyan farmers, we are going to be profitable by establishing a production cycle, by establishing varieties of vegetables or even animals you want to do, or having an ecosystem the type of farming where you do livestock, you're doing uh, aquaculture, you're doing horticulture, you're doing all these types of farming and all of them together will make sense at the end of the day because you don't owe anyone food, you owe yourself an income. My name is Kaleb Karoga, I believe Ukulima Sio Ushamba. Keep subscribing if you haven't and tell everybody what's going on here at 20 Farms. Not here, but in this channel. Kaleb Karoga signing out. Bye.